Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dot to Dot. And for you, all your moms out there, happy Mother's Day. And today we're going to talk about uh, the five steps of the Antiar schematic. Now, uh, recently on the Curse of Oak Island, they've been talking a lot about Xena Halpern's map. And they've been talking about the trap door on lot five. And we'll talk about that today, too. Uh, before I get started, I'd like to congratulate uh, Olivier from Oak Island Research. He just put up another video, and I suggest you watch it. It's right here. I'll leave a link in the descriptions. He's been doing a lot of French, uh, basically narrated videos. And this is one of the first English ones. And he talks about the support uh, to the Xena Hopper map that is on the landmarks on Oak Island. And it's a very good uh, presentation. He's very thorough and complete, does a really good job. So I'll leave a link in the description for that. So the Xena Halpern map right here uh, is basically uh, a map that is going to basically give us the uh, coordinates and the geometry to discover Nolan's Cross. And that's what's all that's all about on the right side of the map. But today we're going to talk about the the landmarks that are on the right side of the map here of Oak Island. And uh, we're going to look at where these also appear, these landmarks, especially the hole under the trap door, uh, the oak, the chenna, uh, the le soupapa, which is the valve. And we're going to look at those things and look at the steps that are taken to find them. So I have a presentation here, and this is called the steps, five steps of the Antiar schematic. And let me bring it on to slideshow so you can see better. Now, uh, all these photos come from the Scrolls of Antiara, and the this is a book that was written by Don Rue, and it has to do with all the exploits and adventures of a man named Bill Jackson who uh, basically was looking for Templar uh, origins or Templars that were basically looking for a scroll of knowledge in what was called Hunter Mountain, New York. And this, uh, these scrolls were supposed to have some kind of knowledge. Now, later on in his life, I believe, uh, you know, Bill Jackson switched over and started going into the Oak Island mystery. But uh, this research that I'm going to show you is also from Olivier from Oak Island Research. Uh, he's done this before, but uh, this is the Antiara schematic. And if you notice, it's broken up into eight pieces here. Now, actually, there's only seven pieces because this one at the top is ripped. But it is mentioned in a note by Bill Jackson that it was broken up into eight pieces. I have four, where are the rest? And that was written in the back of the book of the uh, book of Introduction of Anthropology, which led to the clue which gave uh, the clue to the last page where they found what was called the formula and the Oak Island map, which I just showed you. But we're going to look at these pieces here one by one. And here's the, uh, the right side of the Oak Island map. And I showed you this before. This is the hole under the trap door right here. Here's the valve. And notice these positions are, in a way, not really giving you the location of where they are. I mean, they're, they're on Oak Island. But to pinpoint them through this map, uh, just by overlaying it or doing something, uh, it, it wasn't really meant to be overlaid like on Google Earth, but it was actually meant to uh, go hand in hand with the other side of the map to find the geometric positions uh, through a geometric progression to find where these are located. So... Here's the first step, and this is a close-up of a piece of the Antiara schematic. And you notice it says UN. 
So this is the first step. And it says right here, it says enter. And then it looks like it may say right here, lay rank card. Now, these are very, uh, these are the highest resolution uh, photos that we have. And Olivier has done extensive research. He's the one that actually uh, came up with the, or basically discovered these uh, writings within here. Now, how these writings became uh, apparent in the actual document itself, you can notice that it's, it's almost like watered down or it has some kind of like it's been burnt. Well, it may have been that this these writings, even though they are barely, barely visible, may have been written in a way or with a material that only could be seen when it was uh, washed with some kind of acid like lemon juice and then heated up. And this is uh, maybe why some of the uh, steps that we're going to see aren't visible, really. And so this says, enter Le Brancard. And this could mean, now uh, Olivier says that this is not necessarily a French word. Uh, he says it's more English. But when I did it on a French translator, it gives you the word stretcher. And I think uh, a transport device is uh, basically the literal meaning of it. But what we're thinking this means is this is the shaft, and you'll see later, it's it's a shaft, it's a, a tunnel that goes towards what is called the hump. So this is the first step. Now here's where the, this is what we would call the, the brand card right here. And this is where you would enter the brand card. This is uh, step B on the Ontario schematic. And on the Ontario schematic, all these are labeled just like this. This is actually just a redrawn uh, Ontario schematic. So this is A. A is where you would dig down 40 feet. And uh, that is on Le Formula. So if you look over here, this is where this is what we call the hole, and this is what we call the trap door E, and the valve right here, the supapa is D, and C would be on uh, La Formula, which would be La Hamp, and G is where you enter the vault, and this is the vault. So here's the writing on this piece, and it's very hard to see, but Olivier took very, uh, he magnified this and he was able to see basically what it said. And it says douce, which is two, and uh, ferme la supapa. In other words, it says cl number two, close the valve. So this is la hamp, which is 522 uh, pied or pied, which is uh, pre-1668 French units of foot. And here's B, and then you go to C, and you close this valve. And this is what's called the hump. Now up here, and you'll see later too, uh, it may say up here the Isle of Chenna or the Isle of the Oaks, and you can barely see it. It's somewhat, uh, you can see the H here and the C, E, and this N is a little, you can definitely see an E here. So this is one thing that skeptics can really criticize about the name of Oak Island and when it became Oak Island and, and all that, but uh, this is, something that is also on this piece. So this is step three. Now, step three on the original is not visible. So uh, you can see right here, it would be right in this area here, but it is not visible. And this comes from uh, Don Rue's book. And it was uh, mentioned that 
this was what was on the back of this letter called the 1815 letter that was found on Hunter Mountain. But that's another whole nother story. But what I want to show you here is uh, this piece right here does not match the original piece. And I think what was happening, why this picture was taken, was I think uh, when they discovered these pieces, they realized the writing and what was the process that was going to uh, be needed to uh, to ensure the uh, right or to read the writing. And I think they started making copies of uh, the best they could. They were making copies of the Antiar schematic so that they could preserve it. So it's interesting. Uh, this is what step three says. And step three says uh, to open the hole. Now, in the Antiar schematic, open the hole, you would think that was the hole under the trap door, but actually, on the Antiar schematic, you got the first step here, uh, the second step here, and D would be the valve or this right here. And so perhaps me, uh, what they're meaning is to open open this valve. So you would close this valve to stop the water, and you would open this valve in order to let the water out from underneath the vault to lower it so you could go in. So this is what step three would be. Now here's a close up of step four, and it says right here, quart, quarte or quantre, quantre, which is four. And then the second line, it's really hard to see, but you can see portions of it, which was, and Olivier says it says, ouvre le trepe. So open the hatch. And this is the hatch right here on the original one. So step four is open the hatch. And then we have here, you can sort of see the Q here. You can see the C, I, N, sink. This is number five. And then we have again the word ouvre, which is open F. Now the F is very, um, it's hard to tell. It could even be E, open E again. But uh, the bottom part I could see, and you can see it, uh, if you blow it up, it says la pleque, A, retire, and then F. In other words, remove plate F. And that would be the hole. There's a plate on top of the hole of, uh, of uh, you know, of the hole under the trap door. So there's a plate that's using as a plug, and they're saying to remove that plate. So that's it for that. Um, let me take you to uh, the... Oak Island on GPS or on the um, Google Earth. So here's where the hole under the trap door is. And according to the vault theory, the, the distance here in blue is the 1347 distance. And I think I got it right here. Right here, it says on the Zine Halper map, un mille troy cent Quarante sept, which is 1347. However, uh, French expert Olivier says that this is not a date, although it could be a date. They just, it's a number, okay? And it could be a date. But it, the way it's written with the un, it's a unit of measure. Like a good example in English would be like to say a cup of sugar or a teaspoon of vinegar, or a liter of water. So that's what this un is. It's a, and it's way the French denote a unit of measure. It's not necessarily distance. It's a unit of measure. So when we look at how many times this is being used, it is being used as basically a unit of measure. 
And this is 1347 peed uh, or uh, peed in pre-1668 French units. And it measures to 1,444 feet in modern day units. Now this distance is also the distance from cone E to the north anchor. And this is how the north anchor is established through the uh, landing portion of the Zena Halper map. We realize that the Nolan's cross is extended out from the headstone to cone E double and it, it becomes the north anchor. Now this other portion right here, this yellow line that uh, signifies another point that basically solidifies the hole under the trap door comes from uh, Zena Halperin, or the, let me take this off the landmark map. This comes from La Formula, and La Formula, I'll put that up here, let's see. La Formula is a document that was found by Zena Halperin, and it is on the bottom of La Formula was called the Marie Note. And the Marie Note has a sort of a cryptic uh, message in French about this man who died at 80 years old. It also alludes to a poem, which is basically 1926. So this information is definitely not coming from people that originally deposited whatever is on Oak Island. This is information that is coming from somebody who uh, got it later. But I was going to bring up a little formula here for you. Hold on. Uh, here's the formula. So here's the formula. And this was the other piece of uh, Bill Jackson's material. This was found with that Oak Island map. And here you can see the Marie note on the bottom here. So the Marie note has also another encrypted distance in it, which is uh, one, uh, un mille, I, I'm not going to even, I get always get criticized for my French pronunciation. Basically, it comes down to 1978. And when you convert 1978 from the same uh, units of measure, which is pre-1668 pied, to modern uh, units, it comes out to 2,120 feet, give or take a couple of feet, depending on your uh, conversion factors. But when you put a, uh, when you make the 429 extension, which is cone D to the headstone, that distance, 429 feet, and then extended out 429 feet on the same axis. That's the 429 axis or extension. When you put that uh, distance, it intersects the 1444 right here. It also goes through cone C on Nolan's cross. So uh, the hole under the trap door is basically right here and here's where they're looking for uh they may they were saying that this may be the hatch um it, i'm not saying that this isn't part of this could be part of original depositors uh this round uh, circle of ra uh, rocks on lot five i'm not saying it, it could be uh, not connected but uh, it definitely is not in the place where the hole under the trap door would be, which is right here. And the hole under the trap door, you know, it serves, it could be here. Uh, the interesting part that I've discovered uh, about the hole under the trap door and the valve and uh, also triangle two is they form a parallelogram that is basically the same. It's not the same, but it is a parallelogram that will be the same on the other side with Nolan's cross. And I'll show you that. So this is the West parallelogram. So 
one thing about parallelograms is they have certain common geometric values and that um, the median right here will always be split by the other two vertices that are um, opposite. So this will always split this in half. And so, you know, I get a lot of questions about like, well, how did they measure all these distances and everything like that? Uh, especially like on my one of my last, the last videos that Oliver did is they were asking about how do they measure the big circle that goes from Frog Island to Round Island. Um, it, it's not measured. Uh, I think a lot of these are all done by chart charting this geometry on a map and once you're done finding uh, or discovering this geometry the the simple fact is 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 really the only place you need to to chart or to survey is from cone e to perhaps the valve or the hole under the trap door remember on the uh, antiara schematic we don't know where you enter in on the west side of the island to go to the hole under the trap door to exercise um, or to execute those steps of closing the valve and opening the hole and opening the trap door. We don't know where you go underground, unlike uh, where the enter the oak, enter here, it tells you exactly where you enter which is right here. And this would be the 522 entrance. Now this would be that entrance, which enter the brand card. This is where you would enter there. And this is where you would dig your 40 foot hole. And this is the Oak. This is where the Oak would be. And this is also on that line, the 1444 uh, distance from cone E it's the same distance. And this is the 45 degree angle that's mentioned in the formula. And this is the hump. This is where that valve is uh, that you would um, op uh, close to stop the water. And all this comes off of cone A. So uh, Olivier does a lot of uh, good uh, explanation of this in his last video. I suggest you watch it and support his channel. Uh, he gives you uh, some information, shows some information about how some of the landmarks like Nolan's stone piles and the 1937 survey all confirm uh, these uh, this geometry and also these places and how they're called out, especially Nolan's Cross is called out on those uh, different surveys. So, well, that's all I have for you today. Um, thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.